Instagram removes likes and new trials. If Instagram gets rid of like counts, stripping what will away the power of the like on Twitter and Instagram. Instagram. To hide like Here's why Instagram is going to hide the Instagram like. Instagram is hiding the 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 like. Instagram wants to hide likes. And to be honest, I was a little bit freaked out at first, but then I did some research and I realized this could actually be a really good thing. All right, hi. Hi, sorry, I was like finishing up my lunch. All good. This is Brittany. If there's anyone I know who'd be affected by this the most, it's her. Uh, my first initial thoughts uh, were obviously like having brands and sponsorships. So at first I was like, uh, how are they gonna like know who is like the best influencer without having likes? But as like I thought about it, I was like maybe this could be for the like, better of the good of all things like mental health and everything about that. So out of that interview, I found that there were four benefits that could come out of Instagram hiding likes. For one, it eliminates bandwagoning, liking a post because it has a lot of likes because everyone else is liking it. But when you hide the like count, you have to judge the photo. It's not about the number, it's about the person, about who you're following. So when they take that away, all I think a lot of fakeness and trueness is gonna like start dividing out. I think there's gonna be a lot of people who will lose their following, but a lot of people who will also gain their following because of how real they are. That bleeds into the second benefit. Benefit number two you actually have to judge the content. Instead of just seeing something and liking it because it gets so many likes, you like it because you like it. I know if it's not like top notch quality, like I know it's not gonna get a bunch of likes and I shouldn't be thinking of that. I should be thinking about the content itself. So um, that does put like a lot, or it takes away the stress and the anxiety because I do get like really bad anxiety over this. And I've posted that about that before, like how I do have anxiety and stuff like that. I'm so happy that we can actually go back to like the content and that's what it's like about at the end of the day is like the art of the photo that's all it was about instagram when it first happened it was pretty hard that was the intent for instagram and then it turned into a uh, a numbers <laughs> generator yes turned into a number it turned into some trophy game and now it's it's gonna be peaceful so and on top of that like i think a lot of friendships relationships and like sponsorships like that will be more real like to actually make like that phone with people it's not going to be like oh i'm going to hang out with this person because they have that amount of likes or whatever it is like it's going to be all real and getting into vanity metrics well there are two benefits related to that one is that it makes buying likes technically obsolete because what's the point of buying likes if no one's gonna see them, right? Buying likes become obsolete, right? Because no one needs to yeah. see them. So that's, I think that's a huge benefit. If not completely eliminated, I think the market of buying likes will be virtually eliminated. Likes aren't the purest form of engagement, but they are engagement. Fortunately, I think people who buy likes, don't know a whole lot about the algorithm, that's why they need to buy likes. I'm no expert on the Instagram algorithm, but to me it seems like hiding likes disincentivizes buying likes. And I think that's one of the main things that the algorithm cares about. And the fourth benefit, also relating to vanity metrics, is mental health. This seems to be one of the main reasons that Instagram wants to hide likes. Of course, people like to obsess over vanity metrics and get caught up in how many likes they're getting. It w When I was getting like, uh, like a thousand likes and like almost a hundred comments. I was like, oh, it's all about the number now. Like it still kind of gets to me till this day. Like I'm just like, oh, that photo didn't hit like 2000 likes. It's not good enough. Like I should delete it. And you're saying you're not good enough, which, you know, it messes with your mental health. Honestly, I'm so happy Instagram's taking that away. Like, cause since I was like a little girl, cause I would look up to big models or actors or influencers, whatever it was. And I would see how high their numbers were. And I was just like, that's how high my numbers need to be able to be accepted, pretty, or whatever it is. People like to obsess about the numbers. Humans are qualitative. They, why am I speaking on the third person? I'm a human too. Humans are qualitative. We care about the quality of things. So what Instagram is doing, hiding likes, is helping 
uh, stop worrying about the numbers, start worrying about the quality. Thank you, Instagram, or Facebook. Thank you, Facebook. Of course, all those benefits are great, but let's not forget about the possible cons. First one, I don't really have to worry about, um, at least right now, if anyone wants to sponsor me, give me a call. Sponsorships. It's gonna be harder for brands to tell how well their ambassadors or whatever are doing. Not having that like count, it's, it's a bit harder to gauge engagement. And con number two, I mentioned this at the very beginning of the video. What raised a concern for me when I first found out about this was that Instagram is just one platform, right? They're one company, they're one private entity. They can do anything without our approval. It's not a government. We don't have a say, really. I mean, there there's like popular opinion, but let's be honest, they, they don't, they don't have to honor us. You know, it's this, this whole Instagram moving likes thing is just a reminder to not put all of our eggs in one basket. I'm trying to do this myself on both YouTube and Instagram, kind of spread out, have a diverse reach, a diverse platform. There's nothing wrong with having a main platform. You just don't want to only focus on that platform. You have to branch out. It's something I'm working on. Uh, I'm not the most active on Twitter. You get what I'm saying. You have to spread out. Thank you very much. You're welcome. With all that said, thank you, Brittany, for letting me interview you. And I think that's it for this video. I'll be back next week. Maybe, who knows at this point. But for now, thanks for watching. Like if you liked it, sub if you loved it, and you might as well hit the bell to find out when I post new videos. I'm Steven from Steven Makes Videos. Uh, yeah, see you next week, bye. You can do both, you can, that's really cool. Oh man, it is, I'm trying. I cannot be on camera. That's why I'm You can do it, literally anyone can do it. <laughs> I'm only five feet, okay, I, you got this. <laughs> Oh man, I was lucky. I didn't know if I was gonna hit something.